Hi guys, this is Carrie Reinhardt and welcome to my mobility uh, session between the stretching and flexibility sessions. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so, click the subscribe button and uh, you will be updated about all my awesome movies uh, which help you to achieve your flexibility and stretch it to dreams, to make a split, to make a middle split and to have a progress with your flexibility. So uh, this is the training that I recommend to do when you are not stretching for the splits or anything else. This is more about activating um, mobility exercises and you will need some rocks for this one, okay? Uh, we're going to use the rocks for, for those exercises today and I'm going to just start with like a kind of a simple warm-up at the beginning to bound the rocks. So just go on your knees and on your arms and remember that you want to have your hips on your knee level and you want to have your palms under your arms and let's do a simple cat and cow which is this one so this is a cow this is a cat so this is a cow this is cat let's do it 10 times so this is third this is fourth arch fifth arch six seven eight we're gonna use our back muscles so it's important to warm it up all right perfect and let's do the circles with your body so the upper part is going to work also in this uh, training, so we want to activate this 10 times and the other side. I also notice that I'm not do moving my thighs and my arms, so the circles are only in my butt. One more. Okay, and from this, we're gonna start to warm up our legs. So, but you wanna, it's gonna be a simple exercise when you're just bouncing with your legs. But in this, um, this training, you wanna arch your back to this. Why are you doing this? Um, because it's a different um, stretching when you have your uh, lumbar region. Um, arch and now we have we want to work on active activation of our hips so we want to arch the back and then we can activate our hips and joints and tendons in the hip field so you arch here and then you 10 times 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 you want to pull your leg and with the arch pull 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and now let's change the sides. So left leg 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fold your leg and push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, relax. We're gonna still work a little bit on our back muscles now to warm it up, to have more mobility in those muscles also because wherever you stretch legs for the split, everything is connected. Our body, so we want to keep everything active, okay? So now I want to um, isolate, isolate my back muscles and notice what I'm doing. So I'm not moving my core, I'm just moving my back, and also I'm not bending my hands. So I am isolating my back muscles, my back bones, and this is also very good warm-up exercise for all, all dancers. 
to activate everything in the back to keep arms far away from the ears on the poles. So take your navel in, so this you activate the core and then only you are using, you are isolating your back. Okay, four more. Two. One. Okay. Now let's lie down. The boxer wait from here. Let's just move them here so you can see me more clearly. So now let's lay down. Make sure that uh, your back is on the mat. So you want to slowly put it down. Glue it to the mat. And you can keep your arms on the opposite side of your body or behind you. Doesn't matter. Behind will be more difficult. So I'm going to take one leg up. I'm going to start with my left leg. And you want to do the circles. Okay, so slowly do the circles eight times, starting from this. Then we're going to do the other side. So just do the circles and isolate your legs. So you don't want to move the other part of your body. You just want to move the legs. So this is the fourth one. Notice if the other leg wants to move itself. Also notice if something else is going on with your body, if you feel tension somewhere. Two more. Now we're going to do the other side. So from here, down, and of course, you are thinking about drawing the biggest possible circle. So from here, 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 over here. So this is third one. Think about touching with your feet to your arm. Okay, but you also don't want to arch yourself here, so make sure that your body is staying at the same place and only moving your leg. So four more, four, three, two, so I do eight times each side. And one. Alright, perfect. Now it's going to be the other side of the wall here. So I'm going to just turn around, take my uh, hips up, put my arm on the floor, take my legs up. And now I'm starting to do the circles from this side. So one, do this move slowly, control it, okay, so don't go low if your body uh, is starting to move, so you are moving only the leg, and you control the move all the time, so this is the difference between the stretching that we usually do, here we have, want to have a full control of the movement. There is no coincidence. The other leg is not moving. Three more. Two. And one. And then the other side. One. Job. Notice what's going on with your body if you want to move. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Alright, good 
journey. Let's come back to the first uh, side, but now we will have the other leg straight on the mat, okay? So it's gonna be more difficult and um, your spine might, might arch a little bit, but all the time try to activate your core and try not to hurt this too much. So you don't want to do this one, okay? So I'm gonna correct myself to keep it uh, as less arch as possible. Straighten my legs and let me do this side first. So here, eight times, slow move, two, three, four, five. So my right leg want to move, I'm trying to tense it. Six, seven, and eight. All right, good job. The other side. So the left leg is going to stay on the floor. Take my right leg up. And it's totally okay if your uh, body is shaky, if your leg is shaky. This is a sign that you are working, your muscles are working. So this side first, the second, third, fourth, fifth. Six, seven, eight, and now the other side, one, two, three, four, job so I hope it will you started to feel everything in your legs so we are not stretching the legs in this session we are working on mobility and now let's do something to activate our core so for this exercise I will use one yoga block I'm going to put it between my legs I'm going to put my arms under my buttocks fingers facing front I'm going to keep my legs wild, uh, a little bit, and let's do, and also notice that I'm pushing my chest to the front, okay? So I'm not here, I'm not lying down, I'm pushing my chest, that's why I have this one under, um, under my buttocks, my hands under my buttocks, I'm pushing my chest to the front. And now uh, let's do eight times, let's start with the left leg, I'm starting with the left one, uh, over the rock. So one, two, three. If you don't have a rock, of course you can use a book, for example. Five, six, seven, and then eight. And also notice when I'm moving my leg, I'm not doing anything with my body, so my body says, listen, this is very important, 
isolate the left hip position. So eight times, right leg one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now let's go to do something more difficult. We're gonna move both legs. So I'm putting my feet on one side and let's do four times each side. So it's gonna be eight together. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and relax. So this is also very important that you don't want to move your body when you're taking them. And you have a rock to make sure that they are going high enough, okay? And it's also not that necessary to go very high because we want to have our core uh, activated because wherever we stretch later legs, everything, our upper body also is working. So now let's try something um, more demanding. So we're gonna have our uh, rock also over here. We're gonna put one leg on the rock and we're gonna lift only the left leg, one leg uh, up. And also activate upper part of your body when you are lifting your leg. So let's do eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Let's change uh, the legs. So this one up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now let's take the rock. And now we're gonna keep uh, a leg over the floor a little bit, but without the rock. So we're gonna do only five times each side, okay? So I'm taking both legs up and one, one, two, three, four, five, the other leg, one, two, three, four, five. All right, good job. So now I'm gonna use three rocks under my back to the next exercise. And if you don't have the rocks or if you have less, you can put only two, doesn't matter. And they're gonna be in the middle of your back. So take your hips up, use your hands to support yourself when you put your, when you put your rocks and you also want to have your hands on the floor in this exercise. So if you cannot find it, put the hands on the floor, just take less rocks, okay? So you want to keep your hips and hands on the floor in between of the movement. So just like that. I'm going to use three rocks and also you can use one rock, it's, it's totally okay. So this is, this is the base of the position, okay? And from this, you want to lift yourself, you want to lift your left leg, or right leg, doesn't matter, and you want to take your leg up. And we're going to do eight times, so this is the base, when you're sitting, you have your hands on the floor. Push up. Push leg, come back, go down. So this is the second, this is the third one. Up, come back, go down. For one, up, come back, go down. Fifth one, up, come back, go down. Sixth, up, come back. 
back, go down. Seven, up, come back, go down. Eight, come, go up, down, come back. And now we want to change your legs. So this one goes here, this one goes here. Go up, up, come back, go down. This is one on this side, push, up, come back, go down. Push, up, come back, go down. That was three, this is four. Push, up, come back, go down. Fifth, up, come back, go down. Two more. Six, up, come back, go down. Seven, up, come back, go down. And last foot, eight, push, up, come back, go down. Job. Congratulate yourself. Those are hard exercises, but you will not regret it. You are gonna thank me, thank me later for this. Uh, so now the last part uh, of our um, training, actually, where we're gonna work more on the hips and for the mobility uh, in the hips for the um, the middle split. So I'm gonna use one rock for this one. Uh, the rock will be on the level of my hips. I'm on my knees and arms and I will put my leg on the rock. This one, okay? So let me just find the proper position for this one. So I want to keep both of my arms on the floor. I don't want to twist my body too much. And I'm going to just lift my leg eight times a little bit over the rock. So it's not big move, it's just tensing my muscles. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm gonna move now back and forward over the rock also eight times. So one, two, three, four, Side. Mm -hmm. 
hips over here. Hands and leg. So small lift at eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then one, two, three, four, So don't lean forward, it's not a stretching today, it's just a mobility. So in this exercise, uh, we want to connect everything that we were working on before. We're going to take our leg over the rope. So if this is going to be too high for you, you can of course go lower with, uh, with the rock. Doesn't matter, adjust the, the, um, the height to your uh, possibilities and also if it, this is going to be very difficult for you just focus only on lifting the leg a little bit okay so you don't have to lift the leg uh, a lot and um, let me just do it like that and also you want to have both hips uh, on the on the floor okay so when I am lifting my leg I don't want to move the other leg, so it's going to be very important to have both hips on the floor. So let's start with a left leg because I'm always starting time with the left leg, so I'm going to start with the left leg and let's let's try to do four times at the very beginning. I know it's difficult exercise, and uh, so I'm going to start with the lower high and then I'm going to go to the higher high. So four. Three, two, one. Also, notice what's going on with my core. So I'm not lying down on the on the the wall. I'm keeping my hands on my knee level. Okay. So this is also very important. You want to work on it. So and now the other leg. One, two, three. Okay, let's do it a little bit higher. Of course, you can stay uh, with any height that you feel is comfortable for you. We're gonna repeat this one one more time and then we're gonna do something else at the very end, okay? So, only four times. One, two, three, and four. Good job. The other leg. One, two, three, four. Good job. Take your legs together. You can shake them a little bit. All right. So let me sit this way. Prefer this way. So now we're going to work uh, more on the mobility in our hips with both legs straight and um, you want to have a also a straight spine so if you're rounding your spine in this position that will not be a good exercise for you okay so I would not recommend you this one but I believe that you are working on your flexibility mobility and stretching and you already can sit with a straight spine like this and you can put your hands uh, next to your knees so this is also one of my favorite exercises uh, notice that I have my hip point and we're going to bend the leg and then we're going to straight it in the air. Let's do also four times each side. 
So one, two, three, four, we have your leg. One, two, three, four. Good job. And now I'm going to use the rope again. So now I'm going to put, put it high, okay? Because that was a warm up. And I know with, uh, with the different positions and like, like that, this is going to be easier. And I want to lift my whole leg and move it over the rope. And also notice what's going on with my spine when I'm lifting the leg. So I'm not trying not to round the spine. Of course, it wants to do it. But what I'm trying to do, I want to use my muscles to keep it straight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Yes. So the other leg. Correct yourself. Start. I know it's hard to hold it after uh, several times, but try to all the time think about it. The best will be, ideally, will be to keep your hands on your knee level, but uh, if you can't, um, you can keep them here and use them to have your spine straight, okay? So eight times, this is the last exercise in this training. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. All right, good job. So after this, I would recommend uh, some stretching. Just a little bit stretching, because it's not a stretching. So just when you have your um, knees together and you just want to claw, take your feet to your buttocks. We are working a lot with our thighs, so we want to stretch them a little bit. Change your sides. Change your sides one more time. I hope you like the stretching and I hope you get sweat a little bit. And I can guarantee you that if you're going to do this kind of uh, mobility exercises, your splits are also going to um, progress faster. And especially if you are training on the pole, that will give you more control on the splits in the pole. With the splits on the pole. Okay? So thank you for joining me. I hope you like the training. Uh, please leave the comment, share it with your friends who are also training pole dancing and you think that they might like to do this training. And as I said at the beginning, please subscribe my channel, that will help me a lot and I wish you a nice day.